Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect cPanel email to Gmail in 2024. So today, we're delving into a practical integration that can simplify your email management, which is how to connect cPanel email to Gmail in 2024. So if you're ready to centralize your email experience and enhance efficiency, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of linking your cPanel email to Gmail. So make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have and let's start of course by gathering necessary necessary informations you will need your uh, your cpanel so for that i'm going to use like infinity free website that will provide me with the free cpanel plan etc so if you want to do so and use it also you can go to the top right corner click on login to log into your account or click on register to create a new account or you can use your normal cpanel provider for example here i'll have access to cpanel file manager and softaculous installer whatever i want of course for you just go and do the same and access your cpanel and of course, you will need, as we said before, your cPanel email address, password, and the incoming and outgoing uh, mail server uh, details. This information is crucial for configuring your cPanel email account at Gmail. So once you do so, just go open a new tab, go, of course, to the URL section, go and open your gmail.com, log in into your account if you need to, or just go and create a new account. And if you don't have a Gmail account, you can create one for free on the Gmail website. And Gmail, of course, is powerful and widely used Gmail servers with the robust features. So in Gmail, you will have to go and click on the gear icon. As you can see here, you'll find this at the top right corner, which is the settings. If you click on the gear icon on the top right corner and select all settings as example, click on see all settings, you will have then to go and navigate into accounts. So you'll find accounts, example in here, accounts and imports. So just go and click or find accounts for you and just go and click on that. Once you click on all settings and navigate to the accounts and import tab, you'll have to go and the check email uh, for from, of course, other account section and click on add email accounts. So as example, you'll find this part here. So just go and click on add a mail account. This will open this tab for you here. As you can see, you will have to, a uh, new window of course will appear to you and you will have to enter your cPanel email address and click on next. Then choose import emails from my other account, which is make sure to choose like POP3 and click on next. Inputs, of course, the incoming email server details, including your username and password. Of course, where you'll get your email, uh, you will get it from the cPanel. Of course, other information you will get is also from cPanel, as example, uh, you'll be able to see like your username, a password, FTP ports, whatever you want, or FTP accounts, of course, if you want to, or even you'll be able to get from cPanel Everhand. So just go as an example, sorry, in here, and enter that email address. As an example, I'll just enter the same email. So just to show you what they're going to show me next. And as you can see, you can either uh, import emails from this to your Gmail or link account using uh, Gmailify. Of course, with Gmailify, you keep both email addresses and you can manage emails from both using your Gmail inbox. You can import from my other accounts. Make sure to choose that. This is what we want, which is POP3. Click on next. And of course, you'll have now to enter your uh, username, password, post uh, server. So as I said, everything you will get is from here, from your cPanel. So they just let this in here. And you'll have to choose the port configure any settings that you want then click on add account of course you can even after that after entering your credentials configure like the outgoing mail settings choose whether you want to label incoming messages and whether you uh, to leave like a copy of retrieved messages on the server you can of course click on next now and put like the outgoing uh, servers or mail, sorry, servers, uh, details, and make sure to check like secure accounts using TLS and click then on add account once you finish all of that. And of course, Gmail will send a verification email to your cPanel email address for me. I entered like uh, my Gmail email address, so I'll not be able to do so. But of course, for you, you will receive like an email 
uh, using your cPanel email address. Go to the settings, count and import, and under send an email, click on add another address, follow the prompt to complete the setup, just if you want like to settings send in preferences. Uh, but for verifying even first of all the ownership you will have to open your cPanel email find the, ver the verification email and click on the link to confirm and this step verifies that you own uh, the cPanel of course email account that you entered and of course as I said for sysin send in like preferences and the gmail settings like let's just even close on that and the gmail settings you can always go and click on see all go to accounts and imports and of course in there you'll be able to see Again, a like on here on send email ads, you can add a like another email address and you can follow, of course, the prompt to uh, finish like this. As you can see, if you want to send an email as something instead of your uh, email here on Gmail, of course, compose like an email uh, in Gmail and select your cPanel email address in the form field. As example, you can compose that, of course, and test everything out and see if it's working correctly. So if everything works smoothly, congratulations, you successfully connected your cPanel email uh, to Gmail. If not, just make sure to go and redo all the things that I've told you about. Just redo them. Maybe you made a small mistake or something like that. And you will basically be good to go. So if you compose an email, make sure to receive it in here, of course, on your email. So just go and check everything out, of course, and see if everything is uh, working correctly. And yeah, I guess like you've already good to go. As a summary, of course, uh, you, once you go and open your email or Gmail, uh, you'll have to go and add, of course, your will connect to your email, login into it. Then go to settings at the top right corner, click on see all settings, click on accounts here and imports. As you can see, you'll find it the fourth. Go to imports mail and oh, uh, sorry, sorry, not this one. You go to check mail from other accounts, click on add the mail account, enter your email address as an as example. Oh, sorry, I'll just add like, I don't know. I'll add this just to show you. Click on next. Uh, choose the POP3, click on next, fill out those credentials from your cPanel and uh, just configure this however you want. Click on add account and you'll be good to go. You can even uh, uh, set another email as sent, of course, you can do that from here. And then to check everything is out, just go and click on compose, choose the email that you have on your cPanel and check if you have everything working correctly. And yeah. And that will be it. So for you, already congratulations. You've successfully connected your uh, cPanel email to Gmail in 2023. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.